Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek, the official Starship Collection model and magazine review from Eagle Moss. This time we're actually up to 175, so we're not far off the end. Today's one is the Jonathan Archer, Captain Archer's, when he was a child, is a toy Starship. Now, I don't know anything about this whatsoever, apart from the pilot episode, the Broken Bow episode of Enterprise, he was flying a model aircraft, and then it crashed and it broke off one of the cells, but that's as far as we're near. We saw the little, nice little bit with his father, Henry, and that was it. It was just a, a no man has gone before sort of, sort of part, which is a good little start to a series, I suppose, but um, yeah. But I, we don't know if, I'm, I'm assuming, very much assuming that in here it will state that there is something in this which it is actually a cannon ship or whether it's just a toy. But we'll find out in a second. So let's get rid of the model, get rid of the light, zoom you in. I would love to do some editing on this one day, but never mind. So, Antigrav Motor, released 22nd Century by Palitoy, I'm sure. So, it's very flat, isn't it? There's not much of a, a profile on this, which is quite nice. Right, we've got, um, yeah, not much to it. Crew of two, which are in the front there. Warp nacelles, looks like. I have no idea on the rest. It was just a film toy. It was just a, something that, I suppose it was early 22nd century. It was just, uh, we'll find out, shall we? Artist toy, obsessed. With space travel began over 30 years before he became the captain of the Enterprise. Yeah, because he painted it to start with, put his little black band around the, the cockpit and put the people inside. Yeah, I mean, I make models. It's nice to make models. It's relaxing to make models. This flew with an anti-grav, but you've also got the earlier... Air, air, oh, the wings on the back to make it go up and down. I'm sure I'll try again to say that in a moment and to get it wrong again. But yeah, all this, this ship was. The model sp spacecraft coming out of two passenger crew. No, it doesn't say anything about where it is from. Do it yourself, straight and steady, flying into the wind. Yeah. Okay. So if it was, it, this might have been a prototype for a warp capable ship that his father was working on. Which is fine, which is, which is, it's very much, it's, it's very, very space shuttle. You've got the dark tiles underneath, white tiles on top. It looks like we've got a standard space shuttle and squashed it down to make it more f flatter. But it looks really kind of, that's quite funky really. Port impulse, so these are obviously impulse engines on the back. Warp nacelles either side. It might even be a warp one or warp two shuttle. I don't know. Port. There we go. Aileron. Aileron? Aileron. Oh, I forget it. Come on. One day I'll be able to be able to read and write and be like all the bigger boys, I'm sure. Right. So there's... Oh, okay. So a lot of concept art, because that's a lot different to what we've got. That, the one we've got seems a lot more flatter, but very much similar to there. Is that Jim Martin who's done the... Yeah, Jim Martin did the illustrations and John Eves the production of this. It is, it is nice. You've got two tails on the back of there which will be already removed from the, the actual filming model. Hmm. Ooh, that looks different. You've got extra wings on there. And then warp the cells underneath. Oh, that is very different. That is very futuristic. Kind of looks like the Klingon ship we had in Enterprise. And they paint it bright green. Okay. Yeah, that one was good, the OV-165. Very much like a passenger sort of. So this must be based around that sort of design. Still copying from the Space Shuttle. Which is really nice to see 
things like that. It, it's, it's a shame that the space shuttles don't still fly. They don't don't do anything. Not evolved it anyway. I mean, it, it is a really nice, really nice, yeah, time for space travel. Oh, hello. That looks very much like a Defiant that never was. The Defiant, yeah, I've seen. Now the early pass of the new iconic battle station, battleship, yeah, okay. Now there's one ship I really love in the fleet, and that's the um, Nebula class, except I don't like the way that this weird deflector dish looks down there, but that's fine. Different things, different whatevers. So the ship's there again. I want to get into this to see how, if it looks any good or not. Mondo's the next one for 175. Not many to go. Not many at all to go. So let's get you zoomed out. Get the lights on. Let's get into the model. Because that's what I'm here for, to be honest. I'm not into the reading the books. I'm into getting into the model. That, okay, that just comes straight out. It's not held in place. Usually the a little bit of a clip or something that these just pop into. So that kind of comes straight out. Base, if anyone's interested, 5504A slash A. So still the first run. Archer's toy ship. Okay. Out of the way. Okay. So it's kind of standard size, palmed, whatever. It looks very much like there's no pattern at all. There's no Aztec in whatsoever. And that is actually not black. The nose part, yeah, because that would be the heated up on re-entry. But this is green. Maybe this is a kind of evolved tile. I don't know. Let's get you in a little bit so you can see some more details, more, rather than my fingers. Right, so they go right at the front. It's, it is very, it's not as light as the Thunderbird sort of color. Thunderbird 2. Getting out to the side here. There's some vents there before the warp nacelle. Hmm. One slight wing there. The dome's on the back. I suppose technically we should have had the vents on the back of this one, but maybe we didn't. Maybe they got that is a bus I'll collect for the back and the front. I don't know. Let's get around to the top side. Any markings on here that we need to see? No. It is a very nice ship, this. This is very... It's plain, but it's actually really well made. There's the impulse. Finally, a little bit of Aztec in there on the earlier on. Thank you. I've not been drinking, honest. There's that escape hatch in the second centre there. And to the other side, you've got the other impulse and another wing and nacelle. It's very short nacelle. The size of what this is. Turn around the back. That looks nice. That's really nice. There's a lot of... It's not much on detail. It's kind of... It's the impact of it. It's really, really good. Yeah, that's nice, that. Good solid detail work there. Let's bring it back down the, the top side of the ship. Kind of the pattern work on here reminds me a little bit of the underside of the Enterprise Constitution class. And get around to the front with the cockpits and nose cone RCS thrusters on the front nose. Is that there? And if you ever goes focus, there you go. Yeah, very much like the original shuttle, the space shuttle. Now, I was about to say, I think they've missed out on a little bit of a of a thing there by not having... Because I thought, from my angle, that the black there just looked like a black window, but I never realised they've actually done a cockpit inside. OK, so um, hats off to Eagle Moss there. I mean, it doesn't look like cockpits on properly, but that's really nice having that inside there. How much detail you got in there? Can I get a torch in there? He says while he loses focus. Right, let's have a look. Little torch. 
I can't see much else. There is definitely a person there. Or is there a person there? It's not exactly like the white helmet. That's really nice, that. Detail work inside there. Well done, Eagle Moss. Really well done. Oh, yeah. Get out a little bit. That's really, really nice, that. It, it, it's, it feels like it's a good, bulky ship. And it, it's it's really nice and solid. It reminds me, to be honest, of a Romulan ship. Because they always had the warmer cells on the side and it came into its own. Yeah, I never realised that. I, looked, I had a quick look in the when I took this out of the bag. But I never realised it was... It actually got a proper cockpit. I wonder if I can somehow... They will be, be able to remove that cockpit, but I don't want to. The actual canopy on that and see what's inside. But this is Retro Tech Ralph, not Retro Trash Ralph. I'm not trashing this thing. That's really nice, that's really, really good. For one of the final few, the models of the Eagle Moss collection, they're doing well there, boys. They're doing really well. It'd have been better if these are oh, picking faults, like I have to do. It'd be better if these would have been like a clear plastic, but that's fine. I don't know whether or not the the the, the as it was painted anyway. The model was painted, so why wouldn't these be painted? So um, yeah, shut up, Ralph. That's fine. I think on this side, right. Let me get yourself in a little bit. There are windows. The four windows there look fine, look normal, whatever, and a little badge there for some reason. Let me get you around. It looks like they're out of a line by a mile. But why is there the race parts on here? Hmm. But there aren't any race parts underneath where those windows are on the, the starboard side. Hmm. Maybe just something that they, they missed in, in the final final parts of making this model. Hmm. Very good. It's a very good model, thank you. Looks like you probably got if it doesn't if it does actually have a landing gear, you might actually have six landing gear legs, maybe more. I don't know. If it was a shuttle, you'd have one there and possibly two over here. But what these ones may be because it's that bigger ship, unless it's it is comparable size lengthwise to a shuttle, but I don't know. It's only two man ship, which kind of flies around. Maybe it's a lot smaller than a shuttle. Yeah, really good. Like that one a lot, Eagle Moss. Thank you very much. So, with that in with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Please comment below. Any comments, any anything, just 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 give us some advice. Help out the channel. If you want to help it out even more, then if you want to donate something and be a Patreon, help out, no matter what you want, whatever you'd like to do, links are down below in the description. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.